Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. It's the last time. Today is our last day as your illustrious host. I'm Lathan. And I'm Melissa. Stay tuned for weather, sports, and news on books and bagels, DECA, and College Go Week. And sadly, Dallas wasn't here for his last day on weather, so in his place with the forecast is Richard. Good morning, hot dogs. Dallas decided to skip the day, so I'll do the weather. It is currently 63 degrees, the high of 73. Around lunchtime, it will be 67. There's also a 55% chance of rain. Send it back to the studio. Thanks, Richard. For lunch today on lines one and two, chicken smackers. Line three, soup and salad bar with potato soup. Line four, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit and assorted stuffed crust pizza, and line five is closed. A happy birthday goes out to It's El Garza and Stevie Miller. Sending it over to Emily with sports results from over the weekend. Thanks, Lathan. Katie Benefield played in regionals during the weekend. Katie represented the Lady Hot Dogs very well on Saturday, shooting an 89, closing the season for the team. Best wishes to senior Paige Terry and Katie Benfield as they conclude their golf careers at FHS. Well done, ladies. Cross Country Culver Invitational results are the girls team placed 19th place and the boys team placed in 9th place. Top finishers for the girls were Karina Lanise, Blasia Slee, Christina Espedio, Ashton McIntosh, and Peyton Debris. For the boys, the top finishers were Hugo Hernandez, Christian Mora, Josue Bautista, Kevin Espinoza, and Brian Longoria. On Saturday, the boys, score, the boys soccer team hosted the Bruins in their final conference game of the season and fell to the Bruins 2-1. Senior Manuel Garcia did a great job scoring right off the bat. The Hot Dogs played well again across the field as everyone on the team plays oddly in the senior day game. Frankfurt finishes in conference play for the 2018 season with a record of 3-4. Frankfurt travels to Green Lakes on Thursday to finish out its regular season play. Great job, boys. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio with Alyssa. Thanks, Emily. All new students, anyone that missed the first picture day, and anyone that would like retakes, they will be in the auction gym October 9th from 7.45 to 2.30. Order forms are available in the front office. If you purchased the 2017-2018 yearbook last year, the supplement pages from the end of the year have arrived. You may pick them up at the bookstore beginning today. If you did not purchase a yearbook last year, you still can for $30. If you would like the end of the year supplement alone, it is $10. Deco cookies offer fresh baked cookies daily for $1. Customers may purchase chocolate chip, M&M, sugar, and chocolate brownie. Any customer who desires warm cookies are encouraged to stop by the Deco cookies cart. And congratulations to Alicia Angeles and Jamie Valdez for back-to-back -back weeks leading Frankfurt Deca in week three of the stock, Deca stock market game. Wear your favorite college apparel to school all week to help celebrate College Go Week. This is a great week to apply to colleges as some of the application fees have been waived. Check your email for the details on which colleges waive the application fee. Make sure to go to the college fair on Tuesday, September 25th from 5 until 6.30 and go prepared with a list of questions to ask the college representatives. The music department fundraiser will be delivered this Wednesday. Students need to pick up items before leaving school. Books and Bagels will meet this Friday, September 28th at 7.30 in the library. Bring your book. That's all for the announcements on our last day as your hosts. Be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our broadcast. And tune in tomorrow to, have, to see new faces on set. Have a great day.